you believe we're back with the Otaku No Cooking. Welcome, everyone, to the first episode of the new Otaku No Cooking, where today I am going to be making some appetizers straight out of the manga cookbook. And I'll try to throw up some images here of what I'm actually making. These are little apple slices that have little rabbit ears on them. Very cute. And we're going to learn how to do that here today. Um, I'm just going based off of the instructions in the book, and we'll see how this works out. So I've got a couple of, I've got a couple of apples here, um, and I'm just going to do this. These are, of course, Fuji apples. What else would you use to make cute little, uh, you know, little things uh, there with? Uh, one second while I shift, shuffle some things around here so I can kind of see multiple things at once. All right, so... Um, you want an apple that is relatively um, even, right? So you want one that is not lopsided and will fall all over the place. So that's what I kind of tried to go for here. Obviously, fruit is not always perfectly shaped, but that's fine. So I'm going to start with this one, which is a little, uh, a little lopsided, but should be fine. And I'm going to use just a steak knife to cut this with. You can use larger, smaller knives, whatever, but I find this is a good place to start. Um, this is, it's large enough to cut through something the size of an apple, but also small enough to cut in and, um, and uh, get into some detail work. So let's go ahead and try this. I'm going to just go ahead and cut this into pieces. They recommend cutting into eighths, so eight pieces here, unless you've got a really small apple, which you cut into fourths. So this will definitely be in, I think, uh, something for eighths. So I just cut this like this. Oh. Got a seed there. Again, a larger a knife would cut through this a little more easily. So then I like to cut to move these this way. And then actually I'm going to uh, core them or remove the seeds right now. And that just means cutting in sort of a V shape on both sides very slowly because you can cut through this into your fingers. So you go very slowly and carefully. There we go. Again, each of these each of these will be cut in half again. But for now, we will just do that. If you have an area outside, you might try to save these seeds and plant them and see if an apple tree would grow. That might happen. Okay. Oh, went a bit too far there. Okay, I think that went down. Yeah, I think we can save that. But we have a lot here. So again, we're going to cut this. I prefer to cut these this way up because they're more stable. Okay. And we may not even go to that other apple. It's just nice to have a spare. All right, so here's the beginning of our our slices and now what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut a little bit here just to make these stand up because they're gonna basically cut stand like this and then we're gonna have the ears in the back so I'm just gonna cut a little bit off these parts these edges so they'll stand up like that looking for kind of that flat shape Come on, get off of there. Let's try a few things. Let's go with a flat shape there. Nope, that's falling over. Because I didn't go far enough. All right. Let me cut off some more. Yeah. Clearly my... Uh, this particular knife needs some sharpening. I did not realize that when I pulled it out of the, uh, the drawer. Okay. So there's the beginning of our, our rabbits, our usagi. Okay. Oops. There. And then now it gets a little complicated. Well, no, not complicated. Here's where we get into the meat of the actual technique. So, what they want us to do is cut a V 
in the apple, kind of from the middle of the top down to the edge here. Right, from the middle of the top down to the edge. So I'm going to try that. Again, you want to be careful here because you don't want to cut all the way through. You're kind of scoring it. And because rabbit ears are pointed, you want to make sure that you come down to a point on there. All right, so there we go. And then we're going to peel up the apple, just like that. Essentially peel it halfway up to that bit. Oops, I cut off a little bit of the... That's a shame. A little bit of the ear. Then we're going to go back in there and cut and remove that middle bit. And there we go. There are our rabbit ears. That's pretty cute. Again, I cut into to the ear a little bit, but there we go. There's our rabbit ears. Let's try that again. So we're going to cut a V shape fairly deep. And then another V shape. Again, this is this is not complicated. This is the entire thing. I'm not making a big dish out of this. Just a little appetizer. Something that could go into a bento. And then we're going in. Again, this is a little complicated because you don't want to go so deep in. You're cutting out a bunch of the, the apple itself. But you also want to cut in deep enough that you can actually get out some of that. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. I tore up a little bit of the, the back of that, but that's not a bad little bunny rabbit there. There's another. So let's try this again. Again, just practice. Um, there's actually a, a soft spot here, so I'm going to come back here. Starting at the center, cutting back, starting at the center, cutting back, making sure we go all the way to make that V. And I can tell this is this feels like the kind of thing where, you know, once you do it a bunch of times, you get a much better feel for how deep to cut and how to run that, cut into the, the uh, cut into that a little bit, that's annoying. Got a notch in that ear, unacceptable. Okay, but there's your little rabbit, cute. So, let's see here. Um, ooh, a little bit shaved off there. So, hmm. It's gonna be easier to cut if there's a shallow edge versus a very curved edge. So I'm gonna go over here for this one. That's a good thing to figure out, I think. That you wanna go with a shallower uh, curve on that. Good to know. Again, going very carefully with this knife because it would be very easy to cut yourself. But I can't honestly see a better way of doing that. Okay. Still didn't cut in far enough, so cut out cut those deeper. Maybe get in there with the tip of the knife. Pull it out. Ooh, there we are. That's a nice little rabbit. Shape off a bit of Ooh, okay. The tip did break off a little bit. Um, all right, so again, looking at the curve there, here, they're both pretty much the same. I'm gonna get start there. But we definitely wanna go as shallow as possible. Yeah. Deep cuts, reasonably so, reasonably deep cuts. So to speak. So yeah, this is not complicated, but it is, it's definitely a, it's a, it's a technique, right? You're not just throwing ingredients in a pan, you're l really cutting this in a specific way, which requires some, some thought. Okay, I think that might just be a, an aspect of my apple, that that little bit on the, on the bottom is always breaking off. 
I think there's just a, a weak spot there, maybe. Let's see, is that true? Yeah, maybe not. Okay, so again, shallower edge. So we'll do that one last time, just to see how much our technique has improved. So curve down. A lot of these things take practice. It's not going to be great on your first time or even your your fifth time, but you do it over and over, and you get a sense for it. And before you know it, you're where you want to be. All right? Shave that up. Yeah. So as I cut into that, I am tending to. To, ah, okay, so that's interesting. So it is basically the shape of the blade because this side of the blade is thicker. As I'm cutting up, I'm tending to push up this side, which causes that side to uh, break down there. So that is, that is a problem. So you want a thinner knife, ideally, for this. Can I pull that out? There we go. There's your little rabbit platter there, and I think they were saying here that you can, um, not sure, ah, you can dip the slices into, into diluted salt water to, uh, to make that work, to, uh, to, I'm sorry, to keep them from browning too quickly, but there we go, there's your little, there's a little rabbit from the side. From the top, and let's uh, let's look at that on the actual thing. Whoops! <laughs> They're a little little uneven, but there we go. There's your rabbit platter. So I hope you found that useful and helpful. We'll be moving on to other Japanese techniques in later episodes. Oh, there they go. <laughs> the rabbits all fell over, but you gotta you gotta gotta straighten them up. That's only right. All right, thank you all very much for joining me for this episode of Otaku no Cooking. Again, short and sweet and easy. And uh, hopefully, next time, uh, hopefully next time you are providing things for your friends or family for food, you can make the apples look a little bit more interesting, a little more appealing. So thank you all for joining me, and uh, we will see you some other time. That is it, guys. That is it for this week. Thank you all very much for joining me.